Hi, I'm Lindsay and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. As Canada gets tied in more and more tightly to the secretive Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, an industry lobby group known as the International Intellectual Property Alliance, or IIPA, is pressuring the US to pressure Canada to adopt even tighter internet restrictions. According to law expert Michael Geist, their plain language demand is for Canada to adopt a termination system that would cut off internet access for subscribers accused of infringement. Very obviously, overzealously, protecting big media's assets at the expense of Canadian citizens. The IIPA also wants Canada to remove our cap on how much a person can be fined if they break copyright. And we're talking about non-commercial infringement here, which often falls into the category of everyday uses of the internet. And frankly, with our digital economy lagging, it's just not something Canadian internet users can afford. And the IIPA wants copyright term extensions, warrantless inspections at the border, uh, new penalties. The list is troublesome, to say the least, for those of us who enjoy an open internet. And all of this comes after Ottawa passed the controversially restrictive copyright bill C-11 earlier this year. I mentioned that this comes in the context of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, or TPP. This is what we call the internet trap. It's a multi-nation trade agreement, which for no apparent reason other than lobbyist pressure, includes internet restrictions that will apply to member countries. And Canada was recently accepted as a member country. To stand up against the pressures of the TPP, you can encourage everyone you know to visit stopthetrap.net and add their names to the strong, growing petition there. For the internet, this is Lindsay with openmedia.ca, signing off.